my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a few pieces from H&M that I just ordered. I have them hanging on this rail behind me but I haven't tried anything on yet so I figured we could do that together. Let's get into the first few pieces. I wanted to start with this. I am really really excited about this so I don't know how see-through it's going to be but I feel like this is such a beautiful piece for spring. It is 100% polyester so keep that in mind. I felt like maybe it was a little bit too pricey for being polyester. If you saw my declutter that I did last year, I got rid of the only pair of white jeans I had. They fit me horribly. So I'm looking for a new pair. And these are wide-legged jeans. I've had really great success with H&M jeans, so that is why I keep going back. I got the size I tend to get in jeans from H&M, and that is the size US4, European 36. So as you can see, this cardigan is a little bit more off-white. I really don't feel like this is very see-through at all. I do have a skin-coloured bra on underneath, as I tend to do for any sort of lighter tops anyways. Uh, I got this in a size extra small and it definitely doesn't feel too small so you could probably size down especially if you are between sizes. It is really sort of stretchy and comfortable to have on. I do think the color is really really nice. As you can see it is a little bit looser in the waist and it does have a little bit of that dropped shoulder as well but a really beautiful spring piece so for these jeans here i definitely need the size up they are too tight i would say again if you're between sizes maybe go up in these uh, they're also a little bit long on me. I don't mind. I'll just hem them. Just keep that in mind. I am 160 centimeters or 5'3". I think they're nice, but I don't know if I like the white jeans in white. I don't know. I tend to love it for the lighter blue denim, but here, I don't know. I feel like maybe it's not the right style for me. Let me know what you think about the wide leg in a white denim. I think maybe a straight leg would be a little bit more classic. Before I move on to the skirts I have here, I want to show you I got this sage green sweatshirt. I tend to really like the sweatshirts from H&M. All right, for this, as you can see, it is really, really oversized. I'm just going to pull this necklace out. It is so, so soft on the inside. Also, my gosh, sage green and white. I'm just getting so so excited for the warmer months. Maybe a little bit too big. You can see the armpit here is quite low on me, but still a just such a beautiful color. Often I just cut my sweatshirts. I mean, do this on your own risk if you decide to do it as well, but I tend to cut them so they get a little bit more cropped. I find it a little bit easier to wear that way. And usually it is a jersey knit. So when you cut it, the hem will just roll up so it won't fray and things like that. Again, that is what tends to happen to me. It's not true for all the sweatshirt fabrics, obviously. I also got this beautiful skirt and this is very sort of Dior-esque inspired print. Just a really, really beautiful piece. Some details make this just a little bit more elevated than a basic pleated midi skirt. I would definitely see myself wearing this with lots of basics. So I'm gonna try this on with this cropped t-shirt that I got. I'm gonna say this looks a little bit thin. There you can see the tag is shining through, so it is very, very thin. This was 14.99 euros. I don't know. I actually love this outfit combination and pairing this with some white sneakers. This is definitely an outfit I would wear on repeat. This is my natural waist and here is my hip bone. So it's definitely not like super short and it's definitely not like the heaviest cotton material. It is cotton, right? Yes, it's 100% cotton. And this is in a size small. The skirt is also in a size small. The skirt I really, really love. It doesn't have any sort of lining underneath, which I think is great. It's just the one layer, but the print just adds so much to this skirt. Sometimes I feel like these longer skirts in lighter colors can seem very sort of, oh gosh, I hope you don't get a spot whatsoever because it will be so visible. But when you have a print like this, it's definitely not going to be that visible and i just think it's beautiful it's adding a little bit of interest it's really sort of flowy and nice very lightweight so it's great for the warmer months so i'm gonna try another outfit that is actually quite similar to this i just realized but i have this knit cropped jumper and i really love the black stripes going around here it's just adding a little bit more detail 
I'm not in love with the fabric of it and this is actually less expensive than the t-shirt I have on so that should explain that. This is 100% acrylic. I don't know why I thought this wouldn't be because I don't think I even looked at the price. This is very, very, very inexpensive. I'm gonna try it with the other skirt I ordered and this is so beautiful. This, again, a midi skirt. I just feel like for me, spring is midi skirts. This is definitely a little bit more dressy because it is in that like satin material as well. But look at the texture of this satin. Isn't that just so, so beautiful? Okay, I definitely think for the sake of the skirt, uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like with the white t-shirt instead. The jumper here, I think this is really, really cute. What size did I get this in? I'll put it on the screen somewhere because I can't, I'm not flexible enough. I think the design is really, really sweet. I don't think that I would wear it with this skirt. This skirt is really, really nice though. The split is going kind of a little bit high on me. I think it is a nice length and it, it really falls beautifully. I got this in, again, a size 36, so that would be a US 4. And as you can see, this is definitely not small considering the jeans were in the same size. A really beautiful sheen, not overly shiny because of the more crinkled texture of the satin. I'm not like sure how much I would wear this day to day just because the split is so high. I'm kind of wishing it was just like a little bit lower. That is sort of my only complaint with this, but honestly, a, a really, really beautiful skirt. I think maybe these jeans would look better with this top, so I'm gonna try them on. Hopefully this will fit. This is in a straight leg. I've just been more open to trying different kinds of leg styles in jeans, and I really love the wide leg, but I'm also finding myself wanting more of that just straight, not super skinny and not super wide, something that is a little bit more of a happy medium. All right, so these jeans, I definitely think I would need the size up because they are a little bit tight, not as tight as the white ones, but still I think a size up would be good. I actually think this is one of the more flattering straight leg jeans that I have tried on. Straight legs tend to make my legs look a little bit shorter than they necessarily need to. So these are actually meant to be a little bit short. I can't remember if they're called like short ankle jeans or something. I think they're meant to be above the ankle. On me they obviously, they're not, so they're kind of giving me a little bit of that like cankle effect. I would either just hem them up or fold them up. These were really inexpensive as well, so I think that is great. They feel really comfortable to have on. This is such a good find for me. Definitely the kind of classic staple piece that is never going to go out of style. I want to try on, I have another striped jumper and this was 29.99 euros. I got this in a size medium to have something quite oversized. Again, I'm guessing this is acrylic. Just didn't think it would be, but uh, touching it, it definitely feels like it. So it is 58% polyester and 37% acrylic and it actually has 5% wool. I'm, I'm gonna acknowledge that this is way too big for me. I thought I wanted it a little bit oversized so I got a size medium. Uh, that was a mistake. These were so popular last year and they feel like they're just as popular this year so if you want something that is a little bit more of a budget option then this would be a great option as well. As you can see it is incredibly stretchy so you could probably get the size down would be my guesstimate. I do have a final knit that I wanted to show you. This knit cardigan that has like this tie waist belt. I'm just gonna put it on because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to try to hold up. Yeah, see, you can't see anything. Let me put it on. Got this in a size small. And then you have the waist tie belt, such a great layering option, especially for spring. The cable knit here is really, really beautiful and it's adding to this looking a little bit more elevated. I think just a nice basic, again, something really classic that definitely isn't dating. I don't think anything here is really trendy or anything that you would have to wear really quickly to jump on the trend and then it's not hot anymore. Sometimes it's just ridiculous how quickly these trends move. So I have one piece left and it is this oversized t-shirt and this is in this slightly faded black, but I really love the wide ribbing here. I think that looks really cool. And then you can see it has this print on it as well. 
it's looking very light in camera there it's not that faded this is definitely something i would style with a pair of leather leggings or something that is a little bit tighter to the body this fabric feels really substantial it's definitely cotton let's see it's 100% cotton and it feels a lot heavier than the cropped t-shirt I showed you earlier and it is the same price as well. I bought this in a size extra small. I think it's kind of cool. I love that the sleeves are sort of poking out a little bit. It's definitely a bit more of that like edgy style. On top of that it's just the basic. I definitely feel like that's a little bit easier to pull off and I think it's a really sort of cool shape that the sleeves are ending sort of where my waist hits. So you're getting this like almost like a bell shape on the entire top. By doing that I feel like the oversized ness of the t-shirt doesn't sort of overpower the whole outfit or me anyways um i've been rambling on for too long i think it's about time i end the video here i would love to hear what you think about these items thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye